Organic Chemistry Lab Report Dehydration of Alcohol The purpose of this experiment is to perform acid catalyze dehydration reaction of to methyl cyclohexanol to form two types of methyl cyclohexene materials. Chemicals used in this lab includes two methyl cyclohexane on the right bottle and 85% phosphoric acid on the left bottle. And anhydrous sodium sulfate is used for drying agent. Thermometer heating block. Connecting distilling receiver, condenser, spin vane, and size 14 clamps. Also, 5 milliliter conical vial, these are all used to form simple distillation apparatus. I also use 10 milliliter graduated cylinder as the receiver. And on the condenser, right side hose is connected to water, so water goes in. Left side is where water goes out. Procedure First, 1 milliliter of 2 methylcyclohexanol, 2 milliliter of 85% phosphoric acid, and a spin veins are poured into 5 milliliter conical vial. Then this vial is connected to simple distillation apparatus. And this contents are slowly heated, making sure the temperature is below 96 degrees Celsius. As the contents evaporates, it became liquefied in condenser as it becomes cold. And we have to collect 0.5 to 0.7 milliliter of distillate. And this is picture of 0.5 milliliter of distillate collected. This product is dry using anhydrous sodium sulfate. The dry in this case means without water. When the content is completely dried, we use short pipe with cotton ball and long pipe with rubber ball on top to filter dried content into the test tube while excluding anhydrous sodium sulfate and only collecting the product. And this is a test tube with the collected product. And it's further analyzed using IR. Discussion. This is a mechanism for dehydration of 2 methylcyclohexanol. The 2 methylcyclohexanol is protonated by the acid and it forms a water molecule and then this water molecule is lost and this loss of water molecule leads to formation of secondary carbocation and this carbo secondary carbocation can form two products one is one methylcyclohexane Another is 3 methylcyclohexene. And secondary carbocation can go rearrangement, forming tertiary carbocation. And this can form one cyclo, one methylcyclohexene or methylene cyclohexane. Three products are possible to form in this experiment and among these three products one methylcyclohexene is most stable because it is tri-substituted the other two pro products are minor products this is the IR spectrum of the product The two peaks around 3000, these um, indicate CH group connected to the alkene. So this basically shows that there is alkene present. And this is data table showing significant peaks and groups present and significant peaks and groups missing. Errors. 
According to the IR spectrum, there was a peak that was close to 3600s, and this one indicates presence of OH group. According to the mechanism illustrated on the discussion, there should be no OH group. The presence of OH group might be due to incomplete drying of water. Therefore, using more anhydrous sodium sulfate might have gave better results.